Right, so this kit, 66108, has the parts for it. We have two end pieces, four sections for the roof struts, etc. Eight side sections and the roof sections. Actually, I think there's more there, I think it's probably 12. And we've got the roof venting system which there are two different types you can put on and then there's two base sections they go together another note is it's designed for the track to be butted up against the actual model so what happens is when you run a wagon when you get it to the right height that a wagon will just run smoothly across into the building like that and out the other side yeah so uh, on this particular kit you can cut out one two three track ent entrances by scoring the plastic but I'm just going to cut the whole section out to make it one big wide section just for ease of future uh, trap plans and all that sort of stuff With this kit there's a lot of different modifications you can do so certain panels have to be cut manually like this side panel but the score lines are on the other side so it's not too bad um, I've built it with the base on and I've cut out that side completely but I'm keeping this bit in case I want to modify it in the future um, then it's just a case of building the other section the other side and then butting them together uh, not permanently connecting them together but just placing them side by side that's how I'm going to build it um, what else painting all these struts probably uh, some certain colour and then going to spray weather it spray paint the, way, the rest of it probably not sure exactly what to do yet so there we go also I've picked up 66111 uh, lighting kit for probably another kit which I might build which is a 66106 steel converter top blown yeah, and that's what the trick unit looks like with all the uh, LEDs and little conventional bulbs that low, light up quite low level they look quite good actually when they're lit up um, these are constant red I think there's three of them yeah we've got some flashing yellow ones so in fact I might power it up now yeah so I'll just these work off 16 volts so I'm just gonna power it up so you can see what it's like so we've got some quite nice not too bright we've got three or four flashing yellows and I think the LED red ones they're just a low glow I don't think they flicker no I've got three of them but they're not too bright, they're just set just right plate but I built it without I built it on that and then cut it off to get it nice and square because I'm not going to use that because um, it's just restricts where you're going to put the building because of these three lines going in you've got to have them perfectly matched up with those lines and it's, you've just got more flexibility when it's like this so it just needs painting and weathering now and then uh, that'd be cool and it can be used in a wide variety of different areas or I can use them both together
Yeah, so I recommend priming all the plastics with plastic primer or similar spray aerosol, which I've used. And just let to dry um, room temperature, and then you can put the top coat on them. It should be nice. Another trick is if you're spraying with aerosols, which I am, always warm your cans up nice and warm. I've got mine on my uh, heating boiler system. Uh, that way they'll go on much more better when it's cold. Yeah, so I've put the uh, orange crane back on in that area of the yard. I'm keeping this yard as it is now with the uh, Trix crane, but I've got the transformer crane wagon. Sorry, a uh, large transformer wagon, which is going to be docked in the newly finished building. As you can see, it's just swinging around now. It's taken all. There's a lot of clearance this wagon. Just shunting it into the new building, or its new home rather. This is where it'll be stored along with other goods wagons inside. It's a run through depot this now, so it's ideal really for this. I'm just shunting it in really slowly. Uh, and as you can see, it's just coming out the other side now. That's it, shunted up to the end. So yeah, I think it's quite suitable for that. Put on the um, roof fence, which I've left detachable in case of these solar building, the next owner can decide where they want these. These buildings can come, a car come apart and turn round or be used individually as well. And the bases are been taken off them. Um, and obviously I've took the bases off. I've not stuck the legs down properly yet. I'm going to put internal lights in the building. But overall, I'm pretty happy with it. I just need to weather it and put a rust effects on it. So. Yeah, that's how the yard's looking. I've moved the container crane where the building, where the new building was, and put it back over there. Still doing stuff here, just trying to fix it all down. Uh, move the gravel yard back slightly. Move the mobile container crane over there in that corner of the yard, and. Uh, I've moved this office block building for the truck yard there and that is about it for now so it's job done thanks for watching yeah so the, the instructions are really basic and there's not a lot of detail in them comparing them with Falia or Volmir etc they look like they were written in a day if that um, they're just they're not very detailed at all, they're very basic. I think the flat pack furniture from Ikea is probably better. Um, it is a simple kit anyway, but there's a couple of areas where on the instructions they're not detailed enough to suss out which way the parts go and stuff like that. But It's like, self-explanatory really, but on the uh, blast furnace I built, that was terrible. The instructions on that had loads of mistakes on it and it wasn't good. But this, with it being a, mu a much simpler kit, it's not a problem really. So, there we go. Uh, marks out of 10 for the kit. I'd say value, 7 out of 10, because it is expensive. Construction side of the kit, I'd say 7 out of 10 as well, because it, it's, it's a bit dodgy, some of the the um, instructions and the way it all goes together not great um, the castings I'd say 8 out of 10 for the castings and that's it, thanks for watching